Okay, welcome to your 19th CSS and HTML tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be covering the CSS border property. Now, um, in previous tutorials, we covered the CSS border property. However, we didn't go in depth into that property. So we will be doing that in this tutorial today. Okay, now the border property, it, it sets the width, the, the color, and the, 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 um, the style for all four sides of the element on the page. Now, the border property is, the, the shorthand form of the border property is actually composed of three individual properties that the border width, the border style, and the border color. So let's go ahead, let's create an element on the page right here. And let's give that element an ID of say ELEM. And let's give this a style, let's say ELEM. Let's give it a width of 200 pixels. Let's give it a height of 200 pixels as well. And let's give it a background of, um, let's give it a color. Let's say FF9999. Uh, Control S to save. And let's preview this in the browser. Okay, this, this is our element right here. Now, like I said, the border property, just like the, the background property we did previously, um, the background property co was composed of five individual properties. The border property, similar, is com the shorthand form of the border property, in fact, is similar in that it is composed of three um, individual uh, uh, border properties. So let's um, look at the three, which is the border width, the border style, and the uh, um, border border color. So let's say that let's look at the border the border width. The border width um sets the uh the thickness of the border. So we're gonna say border width let's for instance call it eight pixels. Okay now let's go up down to the border style and let's for instance call it solid let's preview this in the browser right here as you can see here, we have a border of, um, of of eight pixels, and the style is solid. Now, the border width it can be either eight pixels represented um, as a as pixels, or it can be represented as name values such as it can be thin. Control S to save. As you can see here, we have a thin border, or it can be um, medium. As you can see here, it's medium or it can be thick. Control S to save it. As you can see here, it's thick. So, but let's go back to it being 8 pixels, represented in pixel form. Okay. Now, the border style, there are several different values for the border style. Okay. The, fr the, the value we have here is solid. Okay. However, we, the border style could be, uh, it could be dashed. Control S to save. As you can see here, it's dashed. Uh, the border style could be, uh, it can be dotted. It can be dotted, you know, T T E D. Control S to save. It's dotted right here. It can be um, double. Control S to save. Okay, it can be groove, G R O O V E. Control S um, to save. It can be hidden. As the name implies, it will be hidden. As you can see here. Um, it can be inset. Inset. Control S to save. It does inset. Um, it can be none, which as the name implies, it's none. Control S. Um, it can be outset. Outset, as you can see here, it can be ridge. As you see here, now let's go back to the the solid um, value. So as you can see, the border prop, the border style property there is a wide a wide array of possible value, values for that um, property. Okay, we put it back to solid. Control S to save it, and let's preview it right here. Solid. Now let's move on to the border color property. A border color okay the border prop color property can have the name value such as blue 
Control S to save it. As you can see here in blue, um, it can have the hexadecimal notation values such as, um, uh, let's say, 0000 FF. Well, that's blue as well. Let's give it a green color. So we're going to say 00 FF 00. That's a kind of green. That's a very dark, bright green color. Let's go back. As you can see here, it's very bright green. Okay. Um, or the, the, the color could be the RGB um, color values, which is which can be, uh, let's say, 0. Let's give it a, a red kind of color. So we're going to say, uh, let's say, 200. Let's say, uh, 12. And let's say, uh, 12 again. Control S to save it. Uh, it's kind of a reddish kind of color. Okay, so that's the, the border color um, property. Now, um, these are the three individual border properties. However, there is the shorthand form where we can say um, simply by writing, we can simply write border. So, Control S, let's put it back to how it was. And we could say border. And we could say um, the thickness, let's say 8 pixels. Uh, let's give it a, um, a style of, let's say, dashed. And let's give it a color of, say, um, let's give it a red color. Okay, as you can see here, it's a red dashed border with a thickness of 8 pixels. Now, we can add styles to the, um, to to the individual sides of the border, okay, of the element. So we can say um, border, let's say border uh, bottom, and we can give it individual um, styles. So we can say the thickness, let's say 15 pixels, let's say solid, and let's give it a color of blue. Control S to save, and as you can see here, the individual border, um, the, the border bottom property uh, is is changed to blue. Now, even with the individual um, the individual sides of the bottom, we can break the individual sides of the bottom down to three um, individual properties as well. So we could say instead of border bottom as one property, we could break it down to the three properties. We could say border. Uh, we could say border uh, bottom color uh, we could say um, green okay uh, we could say border bottom uh, border bottom uh, with we can say uh, let's say 14 pixels control s to save let's go back to this control s 14 pixels is a little thicker and uh, we could say border bottom border bottom um, color no we said we could be color ready border bottom style uh, we could say uh, let's say let's give it a different style of say uh, dot let's say dotted Control S to save and let's preview it in the browser. Okay, as you can see here, it's dotted. Now we could do the um, border um, border. We can we can do the border um, top color, border uh, top width, or uh, border border top style as well. Okay, so and we could also do the border left um, color, border left width, and border left style as well. Okay, so this is the this is the border property um, okay so thank you for watching this tutorial and do ensure that you view further tutorials and you also subscribe okay thank you